Hey guys, welcome to the next uh, installment of our vaping videos. Um, today we're going to be doing um, re-wicking. We had a comment on our DDA uh, direct dripping analyzer that Mr. Proton got from Totally Wicked. Um, basically he wanted to know about re-wicking and that. So we didn't know what he wanted exactly. So we've actually made a video of me re-wicking a Nova head and we will put the links of our suppliers in the bottom, in the bottom down there. So. Um, I'm, in, I'm the worm by the way, this is Mr. Proton, <laughs> I did forget that. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be uh, re-wicking a Nova head. Well, I would like to say the Nova heads are exactly the same re-wicking as a V3 head, so you can kind of refer to it exactly the same. The only thing that I think is different is the actual bit of silica you stick on top and the slight width of the grooves. So you can put less silica into the, Nova, uh, into the V3 head than you can in the Nova. But you, you'll notice that when you actually measure it up. It's and miles though, is no, it? No, it's like one, if you're using one mil that we are, you can put two into the Nova, uh, the V3, and three into the Nova. You can probably- no, You can put three in the V3. Yeah. Uh, just, you can't put four though, but you can put four in the Nova, but there's no need to choke it if it's unnecessary. So yeah. I'd stick with two or three in the V3 and three or four in the Nova. Just yeah, it, it, there was a slight choking more. issues with the three on the V3 and slight choking issues with the Nova on four. It might be all right once you get some liquid in there and it's flowing through. It might not be as much as issue as we think it is just from looking at how much we can pull it either side and it might be fine. I mean, if you want to give it a go, it's your silica and it's going to be your uh, camphor or nicrome that you're using. So go for it. If you want to try four, go for it. This wasn't um, going to be a, a, a rebuildable video, actually, to be honest. This was going to be a new product, which we are going to do today as well. Um, basically, the, next. the guy who's asked about re-wicking uh, was looking at buying one of these. Um, now, the Didn't he say he ordered one? I think he said he's going to order if he yeah. hasn't already. Um, the process when it comes to re-wicking is presumptly the same. All right, we went through that in the DDA video. I mean, to be honest with you, I've actually re-wicked this today. Um, and this is using exactly the same method, but just four reps, so it's a 1.8 ohm. Um, and the method that's described in Tightly Wicked to order to re-wick it, so I put it through the prongs, took it up, wrap it round, screw it down. Okay, and there is a picture by picture um, way of doing that on Totally Wicked's uh, website under the link for this product. So have a look at that and you should have a much clearer idea of how you're going to rework this specifically. But if you're looking at Atty Heads, then that, um, <coughs> it, like the, the video we're about to do will show you how to do that anyway. Um, but since rewicking this, uh, it's, it's going like a steam train. Yeah, I will say that we, we wasn't going to do rewicking, it was just kind of, it was there so we did it. I mean, if we'd have known, we probably would have shown rebuilding that as well. But we will do that next time Mr. Proton needs to change yeah, To be honest, it's, 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 it's nowhere near as complicated as, I mean, the Atty heads in Anova and the V3, you can rebuild them. Um, I don't necessarily, they're not designed to be rebuilt, if you like. They're a sort of semi rebuildable but they're designed that you replace them. And obviously, I think they probably prefer you didn't uh, rebuild them yourself because, uh, well, you saving money, money in you. Um, whereas these are designed as rebuildable, so they are easier to do because that's exactly what they're designed for. But the process is so simple in the V3 and Anova, it's, it's probably as easy, to be honest with you, as doing the direct dripping atomizers. I'd say there's just a slight bit of fiddliness with the doing your atomizers from your V3 and it's your Nova. Though, so there's going to but be. other than that, the, the, the coiling of it is exactly the same. The way you're trying to put it in, breaking off the ends of your uh, camphor or nichrome, whichever you're using, it's all very, very similar. I think once you understand how this stuff actually works, it makes it in your head a lot easier. That's that's what I found anyway, basically. You've got your battery, which has got your positive terminal in the bottom, which is what your 510 connection touches. That sends a positive uh, electric charge up through your wire, canthole, nichrome, whatever it is. That obviously is in coils, extends the length of the wire. That then comes down inside your atomizer or dripping at it and touches something metal in a similar way that you'd earth um, uh, stand or anything basically uh, electri uh, electricity related. So if you're <laughs> earthing, you just basically tie to something metal. So in a car, you tie to the body. Um, it's the same process. As long as your negative is touching metal and your positive ends up touching that battery feed, it is going to fire. It is as simple as that. Um, and with the atties and stuff, they're no exception. They work exactly the same way. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go on and show you exactly how. Don't just stop. Here. No, we're no, gonna, I'm not going to stop it yet. We're going exactly how we re the Nova. Um, uh, and yeah, basically, we'll see you in like literally two seconds. Hey guys, right, uh, welcome to the uh, rebuilding part of this video. Um, this is the wick we got from uh, Liberty Flights. Uh, I've already cut three already of that. 
this is a cat we just really brought. Uh, it is 50 grams, which is about 193 meters of the stuff. So we've got plenty of wire for quite a ton of time. And uh, I've already cut enough off of that. And I used uh, nail clippers for both of them to trim them up. So, I mean, you can use scissors, obviously, if you've got sharp enough ones, but we find nail clippers seem to work just as well. Uh, straighten out paper clip for when you're actually coiling onto the wicks. And um, yeah, let's get started, right? This is obviously uh, the, an overhead. Just take that silica bit off, get rid of that for the minute, put it somewhere safe. And you wanna get your needle nose pliers, or you can alternatively stab something down the middle. That's, see that there? Stab something down the middle to knock this bottom bit out that I'm gonna just wrench out for you right now. Basically, just get a nice grip on that. That bit pulls up straight away. Very nicely, obviously you can put that to one side. And you've got this little bit of uh, rubber in the bottom, just you can pull that out with your finger or you can use the needle nose, it's up tidy up to you. Put that to one side and then your wick and coil will just come out and you can throw that away. And that's gone. So now we just get a, get our wick, make sure they're kind of even spaced out because obviously you're going to trim these up when you get these in so they obviously either fit for your Nova or it's, it's exactly the same for the V3 I will point out is the, pretty much the same head and slightly uh, thicker groove on the Nova just because you get some more wicks in there but and the Kanger and the Kanger is also the same but the Kanger is a little bit more tricky to actually cut off the wire when you get to the bottom but we'll show you that at the end but basically you just want to line it up on your paper clip here get your wire you want to leave yourself let me hold that in place and then you want to leave yourself a little bit holding off because obviously you've got to put it through the actual length of the actual base and then uh, same for the other side so you want to cut yourself a nice amount of wire just so, so you can go inch either side in it yeah. I mean oh, oh, this, I will point out this is 32 uh, 32 gauge 32 gauge count for wire um, I'm going to let Pro on talk now because I'm going to yeah, focus on I'm going to take over right here guys I'm going to take over whilst the uh, Worms wrapping is cool, but basically the paper clip's there in order to provide a bit of space between the coil and the wick so you don't over tighten it. A lot of people who wrap these a lot will say you don't need it. Personally, I find it's just a consistent way of constantly making sure you wrap the right coil. Um, but basically, once you've got the inch that you've separated from the bottom, you pinch it and you just literally wrap around four times. Four or 1.8? Four for 1.8 on a 32 gauge can for five for about a two ohm and six if you can push it to about 2.2, 2.4 ohm. Obviously, the ohmage changes a little bit once they bed it in slightly. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, but basically, once you've got your wrap round, okay, you want to make sure them coils are kind of spaced as evenly as possible, not touching because obviously you can get serious hot spots. But you can tell by eye, just try and get it as evenly spaced as possible. Um, you don't have to unravel it if they're not spaced. You can just get a little precision flathead screwdriver or, or uh, even a little knife, I suppose, if you've got one, um, just to move them coils around slightly, uh, which will give you even space. But that's basically what you're after is um, one inch off of either end ish it doesn't matter if you've got more you can always trim it down it just saves you wasting more wire so i went off camera a bit guys i was just uh trying to tweak one of my uh twists once you've uh once you've wrapped them around you should basically have depending on what ohms you want what wire you're using this is all totally dependent but you should have basically that's not what great yet guys sorry i'm just biting in but um let's see if i can get that to focus mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. You can see my hand nice and clear, but eh. the coils not so much. Uh, they are very tight on this one. I have gone a little bit too OCD. We're trying to get them really, really tight and close together. That is so, but you concentrate on as well. Don't they? they do need to be fairly tight to get back into that metal base that you can see on the table there. But once you've got that done, you just literally slide out your paper clip, throw that to one side, and you've pretty much got your coil ready to go with your two dangly bits at the bottom. Why is that camera not focusing? I don't know, but. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is a bit half assed but see if we put up against this paper back in just to whether it'll focus on it then. I'm going to chuck this in here and then like so. Still not having it, is it? It's not focusing for you guys, We're sorry about this. Technical difficulties guys, but basically you'll have to take our word for it. Um, there is very close coils in there, I mean you can just you about can just make, make out make there. the outlines are a bit fuzzy, but what can you do? But that's basically what you should I'm do. I'm just putting this up to my eye in a minute guys, so it's going to be a bit just proton talking for a sec, just so I'll make, make sure these coils aren't touching. But that's basically it. Once you've wrapped them coils around, it's not, you're not after masterpieces, guys. At the end of the day, as long as you've not got touching coils and you've not got coils that are miles apart from each other and others that are really close, you want to kind of space them as evenly as possible, make sure they're not touching, and it will be fine. It really will. So there's nothing 
it's not precision artwork, it really isn't. You've just got to concentrate to make sure that those coils are spaced nicely. Everything is as is as it should be, sorry. Um, and then basically that's your coil wrapped onto your wick. We're probably making it look a bit more complicated than it actually is, but let's face it, whenever you fucking put something on camera, it always goes wrong. So it's just one of those ones. Um, yeah, so basically, I think we've basically got his coils pretty much sorted now. You got them sorted, mate? Yeah, I've got them then there now. Well, that's ready to go in now. I mean, there is one that is very close on the very end on this side, but it should be fine. Um, if you've seen the ones that have actually taken out of the thing, they are very, very close. So hopefully this should be all good. So literally, you just want to put your two bits together and just poke them in the middle, get them all the way down, it is a little bit fiddly, there is a slight lip at the bottom. It's not going to go through now. Can't find the hole. <laughs> That's what she said. People, to be honest with you. There we go. We're in. Then you just want to line up obviously your wicks with your two little grooves and just very gently push them down. And once you've got the wicks actually in, you can actually pull on the two bits of camphor you've got at the bottom. Make sure they're nice and tight at the bottom. I should make sure they're not touching. Now what I do at the bottom is I I pull them quite strongly and just tuck them over. That seems to hold it in place. And again on the other side. Tuck one, 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 one the other way. Just so they're not touching because obviously one's going to be positive and one's going to be negative. So, but as you can see that's quite evenly spaced on the wick in the middle. So you've got a nice amount on either side to trim up whichever you need to trim up. And you've got your wires either side on the outside there. Now you want to go back and get your little bit of rubber and you just want to, it doesn't really matter which side you choose, just pop it over one, slip it all the way down and pop it into the bottom. Just make sure there's only one guys, you've got to leave basically one in through the middle of the rubber and one on the outside, basically the one in the middle of the rubber is going to become your positive. Uh, the one on the outside that's touching the middle of the uh, which would be your, believe your right, that one here, is that's going to become the negative base. It's touching the metal, so that's going to be negative, and then your one through the rubber is going to be touching the positive uh, uh, metal prong that, that the now slots in, and that will then obviously be your positive from your positive feed on your battery. That's right. how it works. I like to again just give this a nice little tug and just tuck that over again, just so it's definitely tight on that uh, rubber. And then you want to go back, get your little bit of metal that we pulled out at the beginning push that into the bottom, you should have a little bit of resistance because obviously the wire is not going to be fully set up in that bit of rubber and that's it. Now what you have to do, there are several ways of doing it, you can cut it, I mean personally I just like to give it a little, give it a wriggle and a round around, round around, around. it will slowly get looser and looser and then, oh it should pop off, there we go, there you go. And just pops off and that is as, flush. As tight as you can get it basically, that's the best way to do it to get it not protruding out of the body. So Again on this side. Leave a little bit aren't they? Just round and round and round, it does take a lit, there we go. And that's it. That is your head done. And you put your silicon cap back on. One thing you did to point about silicon cap, there are two ways of putting that on, um, not are both correct. Have you got your other one over, you know, the flat clear one? Because we've got the base on that, haven't we? Yes. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to take silica back off, but... So basically, um... I'm going to get my battery. It's got the juice on it. Yeah, but basically the silicon cap, one side's flat of the silicon cap in the metal bit inside it and one side's a, a sort of a bold effect. Um, the bold effect goes outwards towards the drip tip. I mean this is just so you can test it before you actually put it all back together and put your liquid in. You just want to give it a little fire, make sure it's lighting up, which it is quite nicely as you can see there. That's, uh, Very that's nice, it's not short at all so that close wire I said about shouldn't be a problem, it obviously isn't. Oh. Maybe it is now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I've gone into my settings on my Pravari. He's pushing the button too often, eh? Pravari downfalls. I don't know if you can see it's a looking cap. See that there? That's got a bowl. Flip it over. That there has got... Oh God, I'm going the wrong way here. That's flat. That bit there goes down on top of your base. Right, we'll, we'll do this again. We'll fire it once more time just so you can see it. Going red. There you go. Nice and hot. Um, we'll check the image on this just before so we can see what I... How many wraps did you do, mate? I did six. Six wraps in there, guys, on 32 gauge count file. And we got a 1.3 apparently. No, 2.2. So 2.2 ohm at your head. That'll probably creep up to 2.4 uh, with about an hour or two's worth of use. 
All you really want to do after that, guys, this is preference. You can leave those wicks long and sort of tuck them inside the body. Alternatively, you can cut them down uh, so they fit exactly the same way the original overs did. Personally, we prefer, prefer to leave them slightly longer than the original overs. We did. just tuck them in. Yeah, we just tuck them in. Done the job. Um, but obviously, when they're covered in juice, that can be a bit of an issue. Here you go, mate. Cheers, mate. Right, um, I would like to say that I did make another one of these before. I had put this on camera and I'd done exactly six wraps again, and that was at. 2.2 again so that just shows you that I am consistent and awesome and I am obviously the new one not no. not the minge over here but so I just want that on the YouTube just so everybody knows that I am the one 2.2 every time lies um, <laughs> but yeah so basically what we're going to do back guys is go back to our other part of this video which won't make a difference because it's going to be cut um, and we'll show you how that works hey guys again uh, I hope that was uh, clear enough for you and you could see everything down there I mean it was kind of a bit haphazard and uh, technical issues with the camera yeah. and we, we the commentary probably wasn't as good. I mean, what do you want from us? It was the first time I was trying to focus on trying to get that core to work for you so you could see it heating up in the uh, Nova prong and making sure it all come out properly. But I hope you could see the image in that. And um, yeah, well, I hope it was all clear for you. I'm going to show you how it vapes now. You just see the core being made. Um, this is the one I made it. beforehand, which I did mention in the other one. Um, we'll just show you the image on that, obviously, quickly, just so you know I'm not lying. Uh, I can't remember a second, 2.1, 2.2, .2. there you go, yeah. 2.2. Can't buy 2.0 on um, headset, just proves it's legit, we made it ourselves. And that other one come up with 2.2, .2, which I hopefully you was able to see in the video as well. So, and this is how it's going already. It's only been used for like two seconds as well, this hasn't been bedded in. It's it's better than the standard one. Um, it just is, uh, it works nice. And I think also it's nice you can tailor your image a bit more if you like. So, if you wanted, for whatever reason, if you wanted 1.5 ohm, you could have it. If you, you want, want a one point three, go yeah. for it. If you want it, two point seven instead of yeah. two point eight. Yeah. yeah, just wrap another wrap. Just you know what I mean, I mean obviously it's, it's not going to be exactly the same every time. But no. myself and Worm have done some testing with Nova heads recently, um, and what are meant to be two point eights are coming out at three point twos. What are meant to be two point fours are coming out at two point sevens and two point nines and two point eights. Yeah. So don't just because that's what it says assume what it is. And I thought first personally, first off, it was the Vamo maybe giving me a misreading because it's not the most accurate mod. It's usually pretty close, but it's not the but most accurate mod. We know this is this accurate. This is accurate, as well as a multimeter, and they don't lie. It's I think your battery's low. It is battery low. Battery's first oh, time. Um, yeah, so. I'm going to change my battery while he's flapping. Uh, yeah, basically. So the nova heads aren't exactly bang on. And if you're worried about re wicking because they're not going to be exactly bang on every each and every time, um, the Nova heads aren't anyway. <laughs> At least this way, if a core does go because you've over tightened your Nova, it's a two minute job to replace it. It's not, I've got all the more. Or if you're caught short and you haven't got any, it's your last one, you can just build them yourself. I would like to say, just pointing out that, because um, obviously you just see my battery was flashing and obviously Bravari was low, it was still giving me the full voltage that I was knocking out at and it was still testing the image. Exactly right. So just shows you it's consistent no matter how charged your battery is. If you watched our Bravari video, that is. Yeah, which is an hour and 20 minutes long nearly, so good, uh, well well done if you did. Um, but back onto this, sorry. Uh, what, what the fuck was I saying? I have, honestly, so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> just fucking useless. Um, but yeah, basically, wrapping it yourself is easy peasy. Um, this, I want to point out, we did, like, we re wrapped this as well today because we thought we might as well. We've got a delivery of Canthel, so we thought we might as well re wrap it. Re wrap it. I've put slightly shorter wicks on what they put in there, um, and that's also one. Two mil wick and four one mil wicks, just because again, because I can, because I want to. It's Basically, got I had a um, two point eight Nova head, which I don't like the two point eight. To be honest, I mean, I just didn't like the fact it was one wick and it was. Um, I was using quite a high VG juice and it was having trouble um, wicking. wicking the two don't get as well, did I? No, I was getting a bit of dry hitting from it, but it was because it was probably a single wick and it was a quite a high concentrate VG juice. We're talking like seventy percent here. So um, yeah, I took that out, washed it out, and. Uh, Use it's the problem. Recycle it basically. Basically, recycle is the way forward, guys. But um, yeah, sorry, if you are going to rewick your V3s, um, they do have a few wicking issues with the turn. If you use one mil wicks, it will be less, I promise you. you, you and just if you use unfray those as well, so you like fan them out once you've actually built the thing again, it's going to wick even better again. Yeah, so I mean, this is again a way you can customise your experience, which is obviously what we all want to do. We want to make it what we want it to be. Um, so yeah, the reason we bought one mil wick is because we can use it in everything. If you've got three mil wick, you can't use it in all devices because some only take two. If you've got two mil wick, you might want three and you can't half two mil wick. You just can't. So and and one it's wick. not that hard to hold those one mils together. I mean, especially once you get that first call done, it basically holds, holds, it, holds it to you. Um, you might notice if you watched other re-wicking videos that we didn't flame the wire 
there's two reasons for that. One, I know a lot of people say attention take, takes attention out of it. I like the attention in it, to be honest with you. Uh, and two, uh, the second reason is once you've wrapped your wire around and you've played it with it a little bit and you've got your coils just right to the point where you want to test it. So you put it on your device and you test it and go, right, I'm happy with them coils. What's the ohms? I'm happy with the ohms. When you fire it, give it a, literally a second fire 10 times and it will set those coils in that position. If you torch it first, it doesn't do that as easily, okay? That's, for me, but anyway, one of the reasons why I don't, I no longer fire, um, flame my Cantho or Nichrome beforehand. But like I say, this was rewicked, exactly the same process, it's just actually positive, actually negative, obviously it's designed to do it, so it's a little bit less complicated. But we will show you an actual rewicking on that. We will show you a video. It'll probably be about a week, because, um, oh, I'll point out in that, the way he's using these dripping out of my eyes at the moment. I didn't need to change this as well, it's funny this too, I didn't need to change it, I just did it because we got the Cantho. No, he did it because he put the wrong flavour in and he didn't want that flavour. Right, yeah, I did. <laughs> That's why he changed it. Well, I could have just. I mean, to be honest, you put the wrong flavour. Plus, he wanted to play with the new bit of cancer. If you want to play, if, if you want to, sorry, if you put a flavour and you're not really happy with it, it only takes about 20 minutes to flush it out, but. It's, do you know what I mean? I don't, I couldn't be bothered. I've already done it twice that day because I put the whole flavour in. We basically, the Campbell's come this morning, um, he's got home, put in the wrong flavour, didn't like anything, ah, I can just pick a new one. I would like to point out the first one he made, for some reason, we don't know why, it might be because we used the very end of the canful that we got, Probably so it might be worth snipping that bit off, just so you're on like fresh bits of wire, without any kinks or whatever. But it, it didn't fire as well, it no, wasn't it's great, this is the second time, we the first time, it, it just was, it was vaping, it was 2.2, it was vaping, but I just wasn't happy with it, um, it's, it's as simple as that. And It didn't really vape well until you got to about it. 5 volts, was it, he was up to? It, I was basically, yeah, the original one, on 2.2 ohms, I was hitting it at 5.5 volts in order to get it to vape the way I wanted it to, and that just didn't seem right to me, so I just took it all out and did it again, 1.8 ohms, 4 volts, lovely stuff, and it is, if you watch the review that we did on this, this is a lovely, lovely product, it vapes really well, the flavour is amazing, and re-wicking it ourselves as opposed to using their heads has only made it better. But we haven't, we haven't tried all proper dripping atomizers, this is the first one, but the, the, we've got, or oh, Mr. Brown has got the Argo, and we'll see, like, most of them have got the air hole on the side. This one has the air hole still on the side, but it comes up into the actual base and it comes up underneath the wick, which works so much better than the Argo it does. I mean, the Argo is nice and it, it does, it's just such an airy jaw. I mean, if you do like the airy jaw, then you're going to be happy as Harry with the Argo. For 20 quid, it's not a bad rebuildable, but for eight quid, or 10 out, including delivery, it's performs <coughs> amazing. To be honest with you, I mean, now we've got onto this, this compared to the Argo, they're two different things. One's a rebuildable tank, this is a rebuildable dripping atomizer. But, the Argo I won't take to work because it's more fettling. It has a greater chance of leaking because it holds the juice um, and it's just heavy. It's, I, like, I like the Argo, I love the way it looks on this, it's just made to go. But, there are a lot of reasons why I won't take it with me to places that I go. With this, I said I was going to take it to work with me for a day and drip for a day. I was lying, I haven't stopped dripping. <laughs> I had, literally, I haven't used another device since opening this. I think you used your cartomizer the other day, but that's when I was like, Cartomizer just because we were doing a video and we were using this to open up and show, basically. Um, so I haven't actually used anything apart from this. I've been taking this to work. I've been to everywhere. I've just been using this everywhere and it, it hasn't been an issue. It's been having mangas. I, honestly, I, I am seriously loving this device for the price. I don't think there might be some better dripping out of There isn't a pink one. Um, <laughs> that's what you're so, so sad about. I'll paint it pink. But, um, <laughs> But yeah, it, it's a lovely, lovely little device and rewicking it yourself just adds to it. And to be honest with you, although it's a little bit DIY and a lot of you people out there won't be DIY and, and half of you will be like, sweet, I can do that. You can do it, honestly, you can. There are plenty of videos out there to rewick, probably some of them better than that. Probably, there's some of them will well, be better now, so let's face it, they haven't got us in Two and a half months ago, he had only just heard about vaping. Uh, since then, we've I've got Bravari in two, in two months of vaping and I'm having an awesome time with this. Um, he's bought his own mod of ammo. We're now re-wicking, we're making our own juices. We are basically cutting our costs so low now. I mean, let's be honest, we, we have made a few juices for our friends for a little bit of, a little bit of profit, and we haven't had to spend that much on juices. We're not paying, extra, we're basically paying nothing for our stuff. Well, for our juice. For our juice, yeah. But our friends are getting a discount, we're getting liquid for free. We're loving that fact. We've got more people coming to us now. We've got to my two sisters that obviously you saw the bits that I bought for my sisters. If you've watched our previous videos, um, so that's another two customers we've got coming for liquids. And now we're rebuilding atomizer heads. They're going to be coming to us to rebuild their atomizer heads. So yeah, it we, is what it is. Yeah, I mean, don't it's not like a business or anything. We just basically we, we just to them, if, you, if you want to buy the stuff, we'll make a liquid and we're taking some of the liquid. 
we're trying to basically everything you want us to make we're going to try a bottle basically, instead of buying enough for us to make for ourselves we're buying a little bit more which is a little bit cheaper because of the higher you buy the more less money you pay for the quantity so we're getting a bit more stuff they're getting their stuff free well not free but cheaper they're getting all their st- we're basically who they come to when they go ah oh, this ain't working <laughs> well, so we have to research we've had to research all this stuff and in two months for me and two and a half months for Mr Proton I wouldn't say we're professionals but we are we're far from professionals we are definitely we're hardcore there. vapors there ain't no way about that we are hardcore sure vapors now we don't fucking stop uh, we, we're just spending money like it's going out of fashion on new gear trying out new stuff and we've got something that will be coming in a video right next it will be an actual new product that's on the market again brand new so in fact it's so new that it's gone onto a site and within two days it's completely sold out we got lucky to get it so we're going to do a review on that in a minute um sorry yeah what one of the things that the other man <laughs> did ask not just about wicking we wasn't sure whether we were talking about suppliers why is my batteries are dead Motherfucker! I know. Whilst we were, um, whilst we were, <laughs> sorry, I was distracted. <laughs> um, basically, because we wasn't sure whether you wanted to know how to rewick or you wanted to know suppliers, we're going to do both. Suppliers. Um, basically, we bought this. This is 32 gauge cantho or 0.2 mil cantho wire. Um, now you can buy it by the meet, uh, by the ten five meters. meters type oh, five or ten. It's ten. It's ten meters for four pound. Okay, which is a really good price anyway. We bought this entire spindle, which co- which it's is fifty grams, fifty grams, one hundred ninety-three meters. And nearest makes no difference. Two hundred meters of the stuff, and that cost us delivered twenty-three quid. Yeah, well, it's okay. twenty-two ninety-three if you want to be exact on your numbers. So, so if you do a lot of rewicking, or if you think you may do, or if you just want to have enough wick to last you a long time, uh, uh, can to last you a long time. Uh, the website is wires.co.uk and we'll link that in the description and we'll also make sure that it takes you straight to this canthole but they do do nichrome if you prefer nichrome and they've got loads of that there's only four options on canthole and two of them are the same it's just different lengths um, whereas the nichrome they've got a lot lot more but use this 32 gauge canthole is the way forward we 20 quid all this morning we've re- wrapped two Nova heads he's done his uh, driven out a couple of times so maybe no. the Argo later if we're bored but banging I mean they're working better than the ones they you work better than they ever have out of the shop yeah they really do so um, in terms of wick now I've had a look around for wick size worm um, we've done quite a bit of research on it as well as trying to find sort of a bulk supplier because if you can get 200 metres of, um, of nichrome or, or canthole um, you must be able to get 100 metres of wick we're not going to need 100 metres but I just wanted to see what the price was in case someone was worried if it was worth it we would have done it oh yeah if it worked out really financially viable if it was only 20 quid we would have done that as well just for the sake of you lay it out you're never going to have to do it again but wick prices actually seem quite high um, the best place that we've found <coughs> is libertyflights.co.uk you only get one mil wick from them there isn't a two or three mil option so but I'd recommend one mil anyway so I know that Wormwood as well yeah. it's £3.49 for five metres so if you was to order 20 quid's worth of that say seven lots you have 35 metres of wick you've got 200 metres of wire you're not going to need none for a good two, a year or two but like we did say that on our previous video uh, Liberty Flights are really good for like DIY liquids as well like the flavourings mainly so if you're buying, if you are like mixing your own flavors, go on there, get your flavorings, get some wick as well if you're doing that as well. And it's going to be like you're not even going to notice the difference. No, you're really not. No. I mean, and plus the next day delivery. It's on this like seven quid. We used to end up buying five for fifteen quid, didn't you? Yeah, so. Five for just over fifteen. The thing is, Liberty Flights on Facebook discount code is constant. And the lowest I've seen, I think, is twelve percent. I mean, I've seen them up to twenty-four percent. So you take twenty-four percent off of nearly four quid. You're talking about saving nearly a pound. So that makes that just over a fiver for ten. And if meters. you're buying like flavorings as well at the same time, you, you, you're going to want next day delivery. So it's going to be there tomorrow if you are going to run out. And if you're not, then you get it in three or four days 10 minutes is going to be enough to last a normal person who's just doing it for themselves and not their friends or their family six and everyone else well, probably yeah, probably six months six months or more probably more than six months. Well, it, it depends what you're month. using but even if you rebuilt it every week you're only going to use 15 to 25 centimetres of wick depending on if you cock up um, so that means you're going to get a minimum of four heads out of a metre so you're talking 40 heads out of 10 metres for just over a fiver 40 heads if you're replacing it every week is best part of a year so do the math. It's just it works out so much cheaper. You can buy, yeah. You can go out and you can buy plus like 10 you say, or 15 you can adjust heads. your homage and you know exactly what it is as well. Obviously, if you've got a, um, an app meter or you've got a Pravari or a mod that can actually test your homage, yeah, so you, you should test the ohms of everything that you are going to use. Yeah, don't take this as gospels like four wraps is one point eight every time. It's not. I mean, I got lucky. I've done two with six point six wraps and they both come out 
spot on 2.2. It could have been that's more spot on because it tests on the parole. It could have been 2, could have been, but yeah. you should be able to test them. You can do it with a cheap multimeter off eBay for four quid, or you can get a mod that's got an ohms tester on it if you've got a mod. We recommend a cheap multimeter. We did buy a cheap one from. To be honest, I wouldn't. Shop. I'd recommend a cheap mod. I'd recommend a Vamo for it because it's just all rounder uh, and it's it's point one out at best, uh, worst. Sorry, so it's just. We know other mods out there do as well. Quite the Z-Max chances are you're going to want them. Uh, Z Max, V Max, uh, a lot of them do it. They all say they do it if they do it. Yeah. Um, so just read. But if you're looking at rebuildable chances, so you probably already got mods. And if you haven't, then you're probably looking at them. My More recommendation: the button, yeah. if you're looking for a nice home vape, the Vamo with that. If you're looking for a nice out and about vape. The Vamo with an 18350, take that centerpiece out with that. If you've got more money, then get the Bravari. It's just. <laughs> or if you've got or Midway, go and buy something Midway. It depends I wouldn't on even recommend doing that because the Z Max is Midway and it's a fucking yeah, same. It depends on what people like yeah. and what you want to spend your money on. It's your money. We're not, we're not going to say don't buy this because, well, except for it's no. the Kanger. If it's the Kanger, stay I'm going to say don't buy the Z Max. I would buy this. Well, it's yeah. just, to be honest with you, there's been a lot but of comparisons. It depends what you it's the same what it looks chipset. Like. Yeah, but if you think it's worth paying twice the price for the different body, then that's up to you. That really is. But remember, well, I paid like three times the price. But yeah, but you didn't pay that just for the body. No, I didn't. It's an all better device. It is an all better device, but it's not miles, is it? So. But we'll link the um, the wick site, and we'll also we'll, link we'll the be straight wire to the wick site. on the thing as well. So we we'll make sure it's all straight yeah, on the we'll wick, yeah. and we'll wait, make sure it's straight on the wire for the cat form. We'll even put a link in for the uh, Nick Chrome if you do want to try a Nick Chrome. I would say stay away from Nick Chrome. We did buy some. To be honest, we'll put a link for the counter one. If you want to try Nick Chrome, it's easy to navigate the yeah. site itself. Um, so yeah, we'll put a link for what we've got, which is 32 gauge count for well, 0.2, not 0.25 or 0.16. I think the other one is yeah, yeah. 0.2 uh, count uh, and one mil wick, and just see where you go. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not very difficult. It really isn't, and you can have. It gives you something to do, uh, and also it makes you feel like you do get. When you get it right, you're going to be so happy. Yeah, it, it does perform better. It doesn't perform better. You also get kind of a little bit of a sense of pride going, you know, I did that. Yeah, you know, it's just one of them. I did that. And once you've done it once or twice and you've got it working, it is, there is a learning curve. Once you've got through that, you, you, you're you not ever going to have to buy <coughs> for pretty much anything again. And all of the heads work in the same way. It's just whether you can actually rebuild them. Some of them are more complex than the others. Uh, I did 30, for example. I don't know how we'd re wick that because I haven't taken one apart. And to be honest, I'm probably not going to bother with it. But. <coughs> it's one of them things, Sorry, isn't it? So, yeah, guys, hopefully this has been some way helpful. If not, hopefully it's been some way entertaining. Um, either way, we did it, so whatever. Um, yeah, so hopefully, that, again, that has been helpful. I've been the worm. This has been Proton. I have been we Proton. This has been the Minge. <laughs> uh, cheers, guys. Uh, See you soon. Drop us a thumbs up or a like or subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll keep them coming. Cheers.